I'm Chad Bolster, a uh, glassblower from Louisville, Kentucky, and uh, we are doing decorative glass blowing this week, uh, which ultimately, you know, glass blowing can involve a lot of things, and we had a scope where we wanted to make uh, things like ornaments and uh, paperweights and pumpkins. Uh, but ultimately, decorative glass involves things that are usually mass produced and also like what we call production items. Uh, so they're nice and quick, and so the skills to be able to make them you can learn pretty quickly as well. So like when people were making ornaments, you know, like they are probably one of the quickest things we can make in the shop. Uh, otherwise, it takes probably hours, you know, to produce like a beautiful vase, you know, with all this, you know, fancy colors inside. Um, some of these uh, ornaments probably only take like 15 or 10 minutes. And, and that way I think it's important for the students to be able to learn from that. And then when they go home, they can ultimately have something to give as gifts for the holiday. Um, and also like as it is fall, uh, pumpkins are a really big thing, glass pumpkins. And so we're gonna be doing pumpkins tomorrow, uh, which is gonna be a lot of fun. I think people, you know, they, they, they love how funky the pumpkins are and, and ultimately, you know, pumpkins, you know, have a lot of character and, and that's kind of what we're shooting for. The, the glass class in the hot shop, uh, any class you take in the hot shop is, is really exciting. And I think that it's also uh, really great for, for couples to take classes together so they can work on some team building. And also, um, you know, we have a variety of glass classes. So I recommend looking at all those, but also all the other classes here are blowing my mind. So as a glass person, seeing what they're doing in, you know, the inlay class or in the wood turning class, is really exciting because it gets me out of my regular mindset. And yeah, so I hope you uh, try glass blowing out sometime in the future.